Hey everybody, my name is Scott. I'm with the Arizona Hot Tub Factory and they call me the Spa Man. About two weeks ago, I was called up by a customer to help move a hot tub from point A to point B, and then they also needed the electrical done. Um, I didn't have the time to do the electrical, nor did I have anybody to refer them to, but they called somebody out of either Craigslist, uh, one of these other low budget places, and this is a beautiful hot tub. And they've been screaming and yelling that something happened while we moved it. And I was like, nah, I don't think so. So anyways, we came out today to look at the hot tub. And lo and behold, a licensed electrical contractor did this install. And you know how I hate face tape. Well, I hate face tape even worse when you put it on the wrong wires and could potentially do damage to the hot tub and then claim you didn't. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what's going on with this hot tub so that it doesn't happen to you in the future. Okay, this is the hot tub in question. This is what they call a South Seas Spas. It's approximately 7 by 7 and it's about 36 inches from the, ground to, from the uh, side to the ground. It does have a Balboa pack, just like you've seen in my other videos. This one has two pumps, two motors, a uh, heater, has ozone and fiber optics lights. But if you look over here, it shows that this white wire is going to the neutral. You can see it, the neutral's up on top. You can show that the next hot wire, which is black, goes to the next one, and the uh, red one goes to the bottom. Okay, let me go ahead and show you what's going on. This comes from the main breaker, comes down, it goes through the uh, LB bracket, and comes out. They got two hots a common in the ground. Now, I don't 100% agree with the way that they did it. Let me explain why. They did a black hot, a red hot, they've got a white common. Those are all done in number six and they used Romex. Um, but what I don't like is the size of the ground. Now, this does meet code. I still don't like it because it causes problems with hot tubs. Just because something meets code doesn't mean it won't cause problems with your hot tub. Okay? That being said, I'll show you what's going on. So what's going on is you've got uh, your wires come in and then they go, one goes down there for the hot, the other hot goes up there. These, is, these are the ones coming from the main. Then the other one hooks to this silver bonding bar that is called the common. Your ground is down there in the back. Okay, now the wires coming out of the breaker, the top one is supposed to be hot, the middle one is supposed to be the common that goes to the hot tub and the one on the bottom also goes to the hot tub, that is the hot. There's a pigtail, a white pigtail that is hooked to the GFCI breaker. That comes around and gets isolated to the common bonding uh, rod. That is the only place you can bond that from the breaker. It has to go right there. Ground goes to ground always. You got your hot wire should go on the bottom. In the center should be your neutral and in the top should be another hot wire. Well here they did put the red face tape, but if you look way in the back, they hooked the white wire right there comes up and it hooks right here so it's not so much that it's wired wrong over at the hot tub they wired it wrong right here at the breaker so let me show you how i go ahead and fix this so how do i go about and fix this problem well it's a pretty easy fix you undo one pull it out undo the other one pull it out Open up the uh, connections just a little bit more so I can get them in there. Recheck whatever he did or the last person. Make sure that these are tight. Uh, this is where you are allowed to have semi gorilla hands. So in other words, out of if you have gorilla hands times 10, when you're really being really strong about it, I want you to have gorilla hands times like seven or eight. Don't break it. Okay, hot wire. Now oh, we'll do the common wire because that's easier. Go in a line. Come on. Yeah, once it once they get pinched in there, then they're no longer round, hard to get in the hole. Okay, we put that in there like that. And wrench that puppy down. Just like so. Okay, get that one in there. Working with a handicap today, I hurt my left hand. Okay, now we've got the hot wire, the common wire, and the hot wire. That is properly wired. 
let's go ahead and put this breaker back in and we'll see if it, we fixed our problem. Okay, I put my meter up there so you can see it. Put one hot lead right at the top. Doing it with one hand really sucks. Usually I'm pretty good at it. Oh, can't get it today. <laughs> yeah, I got it. Okay. And we got 240. All right, can you guys see it? It's kind of hard. There we go. You got 240. So, all right. Now we can go on and see if we can make this hot tub work. Now, before I did anything, I verified that the common is still the common, the hot is still the hot, and the hot down there is still the hot. So we'll go ahead and turn on this um, spa and see if we can get it up and running for this homeowner. Maybe they can use it tonight. Okay, five, four, works. That's all it was, was wired wrong by a very inexperienced electrician. So however much this homeowner got charged, I think he should get a rebate for my time because I'm not cheap. Anyways, thanks for tuning in everybody. My name is Scott. I'm with the Arizona Hot Tub Factory and they call me the Spa Man. And please remember, it's just a hot tub. It's in your backyard, side yard or garage. It blows bubbles and heats up. Don't go crazy. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Have a great day, everybody.